Yo, what is up guys? My name is Steven and welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video. Now today, we're gonna be trolling with the P.E.K.K.A in Arena 1. Now, a lot of you guys requested this card to be used next in the troll series, so that's why I'm doing it today. Now, before we start the video, I would like to say that I am doing a Google Play slash iTunes gift card giveaway, and all you have to do to join is one, leave a like on today's video, and two, click the gleam.io link in the description down below. Once you're there, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and follow my Twitter to be entered into the giveaway. Good luck to everyone and enjoy the video. So as always guys, let's try to hit 300 likes on today's video and if you do have a card or deck that you want me to troll with, be sure to type it out in the comment section down below and I'll take a look at it and I'll decide on what card I should use next. But for now, um, I'm kind of wanting to do the Goblin Barrel Mirror Clone strategy in the next video because that is really fun to play around with. Because all you do is drop two Goblin Barrels on the King Tower, mirror the clone spell I guess, or just clone them since you don't have to mirror up, and then just rage them up and get an instant 3 crown like that. I've seen tons of 3 crowns in 2v2s just because they catch their opponents off guard without any spells to counter the golem barrels and i actually held i think the world record for the fastest three crown in a 1v1 battle at 20 seconds using the golem barrel strategy so yeah what we're going to be doing today is dropping the pekka using our mirrors and clone spells on it so first game of the day we are up against hector good luck to you i'll start off with um some spells because we do need to cycle to the mirror so we can get the mirrored pumps down as soon as possible so he has a giant coming in let's just go ahead defend against that with the log first also a goblin hut that is going to do a lot of damage to my tower if he drops a prince or anything behind it but we got the uh, mirror up so let's just go ahead and start dropping the elixir pumps he's a baby dragon too so uh, i don't think we need to watch out for that it barely does any damage at level one but it is, it's going to take one of those spear goblins, which is going to be pretty annoying. Let's just drop another pump back there. Uh, let's see. I think we need the ice spirit to counter that. Let's just drop the rage spell so we can get some more elixir. Alright, we'll log this out. Kill the knight and the goblins. Uh, Alright, knight isn't going to get any shots off my tower. That's good. Tower's already at half HP. Like, I got to defend so he doesn't take out my elixir pumps. Let's just drop another one back there. We got the clone spell up. He has another giant coming in, but I can't do anything because I got to get the mirrored pump down first. Uh, let's just rage this up right here. Let's zap the giant, and yeah, that should be a pretty good counter right here. I mean, my tower is going to tank for me. That's okay. As long as the pumps don't get damaged, I'll be good. All right, I think we could start dropping the P.E.K.K.A.S. now. Let's just drop one more elixir pump and start the P.E.K.K.A.S. up in the back. Alright, it's a baby dragon coming in along with a spear gum hunt. I mean, those spear gums are like so annoying. If you play against them in like competitive meta, like some people still use a spear gum hunt in spawner decks. It's like the most annoying thing you could ever play against. But like when spawner decks were in the meta, I actually played the bomb tower. So I like counter them every time and just spam the laughing mode when I win. Alright, we got two Pekka's down already. They're pretty tanky right now, so I shouldn't have to like zap out the goblins or anything let's just drop our third one back there all right we got two on the tower they should just like completely melt that tower instantly let's drop another one right here he has two goblins which are just gonna get annihilated and okay looks like those pekkas are actually gonna split right here let's just drop the clone spell quickly so we can get them all down all right we got <laughs> okay we got like six clone pekkas down but like one decided to split we could have gotten more and dropped the mirror clone but like I don't know, I just didn't have a fast enough reaction time, but good game, well played to you, Hector. Alright, we are in our next battle now, let's, let's go ahead, drop the Ice Spirit in the back, uh, cycle through to the mirror, because once we get that, we can just start dropping Elixir Pumps in the back, and then we can begin our P.E.K.K.A. push later. Alright, he has a Knight and Val coming in, that shouldn't do that much damage, I mean, my tower should be able to take care of both of them without suffering too much damage. 
Okay, he has a Musketeer coming on the other side. Let's just drop the Elixir Pump back here. Burn the Rage. I don't know if he has a Giant or a Prince, because those are the cards that we really need to watch out for, especially in these low arenas, because they're the ones that can actually do damage and one crown us. Let's drop the Ice Spirit. All right, he does have a Giant. Uh, let's go drop the Log. Okay, he's gonna Fireball, and he hit my Elixir Pumps too. It's really annoying. So let's just drop another pump back here. Near that one too. Alright, he has a knight coming in. Uh, let's just zap that out. It should take care of that. Uh, we also have the rage spell, so might as well rage up the pumps first. And I'll just burn the zap. It doesn't really matter. Those goblins are gonna die anyways. Drop the log here. I think we need to get like some more elixir pumps down because the P.E.K.K.A.s they do do a lot of damage so the more elixir pumps we have down on the arena at the same time the better chance we have of getting like 20 on the arena at the same time so let's just drop a few more elixir pumps we'll do one more elixir pump cycle and then we'll start the P.E.K.K.A. push in the back when double elixir happens so we, we cycle pretty fast right now we got like 5 elixir pumps on the arena Okay, that was a mistake. I meant to drop the elixir pump like on the other side, but somehow like I moved my hand and my pinky tapped that part for some reason. But all we have to do is cycle back to the mirror. He's gonna fireball and hit two of my elixir pumps. Uh, it's all right though. We don't have the mirror yet, so we can't drop the P.E.K.K.A. Let's drop the ice spear. He doesn't seem to be using his giant push on uh, my right side, so that's good for us because we can just start up the P.E.K.K.A. right here. Let's just drop another one back here. Okay, rage all these pumps up. Drop the log. Okay, he has a mini P.E.K.K.A. We should be able to deal with that pretty easily. Let's just drop another P.E.K.K.A. right here. Mirror that one pretty soon. I think we could get at least five down and then drop the clone spell to double it up. Let's just drop... Um, yeah, I don't think we can get five down at the same time. Let's just drop the clone spell right now. See how many P.E.K.K.A.s we can get on the field at the same time. I'm pretty sure that's like 12 P.E.K.K.A.s. But still, we did pretty good. Uh, like, they definitely seem to be like a really overpowered card, especially for these low arenas. Because, like, people just don't know how to distract down here and don't know how to counterplay. But, next battle, we're actually going to use one P.E.K.K.A. to three crowns. So that's why I'm upgrading the heal spell and putting that in. I'm also going to use the poison and rage spell so my P.E.K.K.A. doesn't get distracted easily by the skeleton armies. Alright guys, and we're back, so we're going to be 3 crowning Tina right here with only one P.E.K.K.A. So we got the Fireball, Elixir Pump, Heal Spell, Log, Zap, and Poison Spell just to all support the P.E.K.K.A. and make sure it doesn't die. So I don't know how this is going to work. I also have the Rage Spell, but I'm just going to drop one Elixir Pump and we're going to start off the P.E.K.K.A. in the back. So I also got the Heal Spell ready. In case you have the Skeleton Army, I have the Log and the Poison Spell and to help the P.E.K.K.A. get an extra boost. I also got the Rage Spell, so let's just see how this goes. He's gonna drop, or she's gonna drop a mini P.E.K.K.A. right there. Let's just go ahead and drop the Log, counter that pretty easily. P.E.K.K.A.'s just gonna one-shot it. All right, the Giant shouldn't be able to draw the P.E.K.K.A. aggro over the river. Oh no, it's actually gonna get targeted by the tower, but it's gonna walk out of range pretty soon, so let's give him a well played for that Fireball. <laughs> they just threw the Fireball like directly into my Poison Spell and it did nothing. So I gotta drop the heal spell and rage spell to keep the P.E.K.K.A. alive. It's gonna kill that prince pretty easily. Let's just drop another elixir pump in the back. And this should be the three crown. I mean, if they don't drop any other cards in front of the P.E.K.K.A., okay, they have a Valk. Let's just go ahead and zap that. Poison the tower, GG well played. Okay, we gotta heal the P.E.K.K.A. or it's gonna die. Okay, that was pretty clutch. Good game, well played. That was like a last minute heal spell. If I didn't, my P.E.K.K.A. would've died. Oh my god. Alright, good game, well played. So that is going to wrap it up for today's video. If you did enjoy, be sure to smack that like button down below. Every like is appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe and enter the giveaway. Link is in the description down below. And I'll see you guys in the next Clash Royale video.